Hello everyone, this is Paul Matthew from Group 4 and I'm here to report about natural join. This is part of our topic which is relational algebra. So to begin with, let us uh, get on with the definition of what is a natural join. Let me just show you that slide. So what is a natural join? So this is a join operation that creates an implicit clause for you based on the common columns in the two tables being joined. Common columns are columns that have the same name in both tables. Natural join does not use any comparison operator. It does not concatenate the way a Cartesian product does. We can perform a natural join only if there is at least one common attribute that exists between the two relations. And in addition, the attributes must have the same name and domain. So again, you're only able to do a natural join if you have a column on table 1 that has the same exact name on a column on table 2. And also, they must have the same data type. So if it's, in, if it's an integer on table 1, then it must also be an integer on table 2. Natural join acts on those matching attributes where the values of attributes in both the relations are the same. So the SQL natural join is a type of equijoin and is structured in such a way that columns with the same name of associated tables will appear once only. So this is, it's almost the same as an inner join but there's just uh, quite a bit of difference in the result. So when you do inner join, if you have like two columns with the same name on two separate tables, once you join them, you will see two columns of the same name. However, if you use natural join, the common columns would only appear once. Now, common, um, I mean, natural join is actually denoted by the symbol infinity so these are the guidelines for natural joins so we have the associated tables have one or more pairs of identically named columns then the columns are, must be the same data type and we don't use the on clause in natural join now this is the syntax for our natural join so select space asterisk space from then table one your first table then natural join, space, table 2, your second table, and the semicolon. Now I have here a small example. So we have two tables, the first one named foods and the second one named company. Now just by looking at it, you can see that there is one common column name between the two tables. So the one here, we have company ID and company ID. And they both have the same data type. So we have integers and we have integers. So we'll be able to proceed with the natural join process. So for us to get all the unique columns from food and company tables, um, we can use the following statement. So we have select, asterisk from foods, natural join company, and then semicolon. Now this is the output. So as you can see, here at the bottom part this is the result so company ID is only showing once here and then those attributes or values that are common in both tables are only shown here so for example on table 1 salt and shakes doesn't have any company ID so it's also not here on table 2 so it doesn't show here now also you will notice that although some company names are existing on table 2 but if the company ID is not showing on table 1 it will not be shown on the result so I think that's quite straightforward and that will be the end of my report and if you want to learn more about natural join you can check these references just click on the links. Uh, you have 
from Double Tree uh, Resource, Oracle, Tutorials Point, and Wave 2 Tutorial. Again, thank you for listening and have a great day. Thank you.